just say that black tax is a term that originated from South Africa, but I just want to read the definition of it from this um, article in Daily Nation. So black tax refers to the duty of an African child to support their extended family and elderly parents financially, educating their siblings, building family homes, funding their siblings' businesses, and other things. Welcome to my channel. My name is Karen. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. And if you're not new, manze si karibu tu sana. Like pokea my mkono. So, um, how you doing, guys? How you doing? How is the February taking you? I've enjoyed the month. I've enjoyed my leave. I'm actually going back to work next week, but I'm taking all this time to just soak it in like it's my last week i'm just so oh, relaxing guys and uh, yes so we've been talking about finances and just let me put a disclaimer here that i'm not a financial expert so if you need financial advice please just find someone who's certified or maybe who is a professional who'd help you i'm just sharing knowledge from the streets myself and what i have learned and if you are going to get something out of it good yes so i dedicated february to do just that and today we are talking about black tax yo i just stumbled upon this um term uh maybe last year it's not something that i have grown up knowing but i wish i knew that it had a term because i've gone th i've gone through it without knowing that i'm going through it now if you're firstborn or maybe if you i'm a firstborn daughter or uh, maybe if you're in your family you've made it you know you've moved out of your village you've made it if you've moved up road you've made it probably you'd understand what i'm talking about so i stumbled upon this article that says kenyans weighed down by black tax that was january 2022 and it actually defines black tax as black tax refers to the duty 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 of an african child to support their extended family and elderly parents financially educating their siblings building family homes finding their siblings businesses and many other i don't know what have you done like um yes supporting mm -hmm, think elderly part yes financial education yes building yes i've done that and uh i'm not here to bash i'm not here to be like oh this is what i've done look at me i'm actually here to help like i just wanted to be like um a uh, sister tag or maybe not sister tag, just chat with an elder sister because you know we can help each other let me tell you guys there's a time i considered changing my line because i was i felt so overwhelmed now let me take you back i told you guys i've not grown up in a family of affluence like uh we don't have the money so i am the one who has managed to get out of uh been able to like go up to university and it wasn't easy like i depended on my on extended family but majorly i depended on myself if i, if I may say so because i worked i like whew, like thinking about it this is usually just an emotional uh, topic to talk about because it's not been easy and there are some things I would want to do different for my children and that is why I'm so much invested in learning about finances, how I can make better decisions for my children. I wouldn't want in the future when my child is calling me, uh, when I'm calling my child or my children, they're thinking, now what does she want? Like, I don't have the money, I don't have the money. Because I've been there when I've dreaded receiving phone calls like not again like truly like i wish i would be saying it with my face like this but it's usually a moment where um, i dread i dread i dread receiving the calls i dread saying no i dread feeling like i'm helpless or i'm making the other person helpless because i would want my family to be at a better place but there are sometimes i cannot be able i'm not the savior i am not and it can it can drain someone emotionally and i'm just here uh, just to be real so back in campus i my family my extended 
and family helped me get to campus helped me to get help but then after that it was just like you know just um you know get by and i'm glad for the uh, the experience that i went through because that's when i enrolled for work study program in my local university catholic university of eastern africa yo yo i spent there seven years uh doing a degree for four years so uh, i went through work study program i remembered i did a bid work i i think i was so entrepreneurial that's when my entrepreneurial skills were awakened because i had to do everything to survive and i started seeing a uh, black tax back then but i didn't know what it was like oh um um they knew my family knew i was working you know in the library school library i just started with oh send us money for food send us something you know stuff like that and it wasn't su such a big deal so i completed uni got some um kidogo jobs here yeah, attachments or maybe uh those jobs that you get before the real job and yo 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 <laughs> it started Oh my god um it wasn't the best it's not it's not it's not <sighs> send money uh you know uh, this person needs to go to school and uh, no one is here to help we thank god that he has helped you secure that job but would you please and the thing about this thing this whole thing is not about you sending money or you helping out in this way but it's uh, how it works on your emotions it gets you to a place where you you even start um feeling uh, some form of resentment uh some form of um uh i don't know those those things that are not good because the time i even felt like you know what my family will just be uh, glad if i worked as you know did anything like anything to just send my any and by anything i just mean anything anything not even dignifying to just send the money because you feel like they're not interested in how you are as an individual uh not interested in and you as a person but what can we get um from you and that can be sad that can be draining while i get that they're they they're at a place where they cannot help let me say so but i don't believe that right now at that time i was feeling they're you know they are in ocham and they are depending on me you know if i don't do it then who else will do it ah but right now <laughs> right now i have uh formed boundaries i have formed i'm trying i'm actually not yet there but i'm trying to just form boundaries and be able to say no like as recent as last month i said no i'm not and i felt so good like i can be able to say no and things will move like after a few days we are able to talk but if you don't have boundaries you can find yourself like stretching yourself thin and you can even go into depression it's very very much possible you can go into depression and for for me my mental wellness seemed um something like this i would want to get something for my house like let's say i would want to get this couch and then i'm thinking to myself do i really need a couch and i know i need it i remember when i bought my cooker when i bought my tv i was like do i really need it how am i spending this money and <laughs> nowadays nowadays oh now <laughs> i say no like i don't have to meet the need especially at that time especially when i don't have it and the other thing i've found i like i i'd rather meet half like someone will tell you i need ten thousand let me look for half of it or give something that i know even if it doesn't come back it won't like um I, it won't it won't um how do i put it like i turn him like something that i can be able to do without like i would give and no even if they don't it doesn't come back it's okay i can live without <laughs> my god i'm just saying that because i remembered i gave money and it didn't come back like that money would have been used 
So, I'm la- I'm like I'm now um just um uh training myself to just be able to part with what I can and if I cannot completely I just say no and I don't have to feel guilty even when I say no. Yeah, I don't have to feel guilty. So setting healthy boundaries and just knowing that you are not the alpha, you're not the omega, like um yeah, like I wouldn't want to be in that place. I wouldn't want to be ah uh, in the place where like someone would dread receiving my call because they just know what's coming up next. I was so shocked. Uh I think last year or last year but one I was so shocked when this new colleague uh came into work and um she was being supported by the parents <laughs> to move and everything because our salaries usually delay for some months and i was just asking her how are you like getting by you know stuff like that and she's like you know my mom she's my my parents like and it's not that one for dolling like you are a child like let's just it's not for spoiling it's just for knowing my child is in a new environment how can i support her like oh my god i would want to do the same for my children i wouldn't want that my child sees my phone call and they're just thinking what <laughs> I would dread I wouldn't want that. I've been through that and that's why I'm in um so determined to making better financial choices as it pertains to me so that I can be a blessing as the Bible says I can be a blessing to my children's children. I want like when my children start life I'm able to send them a package like do this you know like go this is yours you can start with this uh when my children get married like i can be able to be there financially and i'm just talking about financially supporting them like apart from all the other support i want to be able to financially support my children yes and <laughs> And that's what uh like motivates me that's what inspires me especially on my financial journey that is it like i don't want i don't want to repeat what i what i went through i don't want to do that and what am i doing right now um there's a time i even said like uh i'm not living with anyone but you guys know i live with my niece right now i live with my sister but the thing is I, i i would just want um people to be independent and um I, I, it's not that um i'm downplaying maybe they didn't have the chance that i had maybe to education no no but i'm looking at it like you just being responsible and say i can be able to do this like if the worst comes to the worst i i i did handcraft beads like i would i would want to be able to do anything to just uh survive like if it means just going from house to house washing clothes i want to do that like earn money in a dignified manner and uh, i'm just remembering the story of um in the old testament truth and boys the thing about just going out and gleaning you know that that biblical concept there's something about you just earning your own money like going out like the people this is how it used to be the rich people uh who owned tracts of land they would go and harvest but leave some for poor people to just come and harvest there's just something about you getting money for yourself it's not dignifying to always just be receiving money receiving because you can't even if you can't there's something you can do and it asks me i don't know if i'm digressing uh you guys know i have a prosthetic but it asks me like i feel so bad when i'm on the street and someone with their prosthetic they put it aside there and they're just boring like with their cups there i feel so bad i'm like there's something you can be able to there's something all of us can be able to do yeah i don't know that's it about black tax so set healthy boundaries just um learn to say no but when it's getting to your mental state just just acknowledge it acknowledge it and it's not bad you're not a bad child you're not a bad bad niece you're not a bad nephew when you don't respond to that auntie who carried you when you did not even know <laughs> You're not a bad one when you're not sending sugar to someone who changed your diapers and now maybe someone who you know you're not bad and you're not bad if you're supporting your 
uh, your, your family i mean we're here for that we're here for each other where would i be if i was not supported you know i don't know maybe let me just end this video here and tell me maybe what are your experiences with black tax have you faced it how are you doing to avoid that whole shenanigan and the people especially the people who are um maybe overseas abroad what's your experience just share and let me know thank you so much guys for watching i hope it was in some long video but now ah uh, thank you see you on another video and bye